I'm a, I'm a first-gen citizen, and uh, being a first-gen citizen, my parents had no idea what the college process was going to be like, and so I didn't realize how unprepared I was. I come from a small town, and I don't know, I feel like I was worried that I would feel lost in the school and I wouldn't make any friends or that I would feel lonely or something like that. You could tell that students were the top of the top, so uh, I did get a little bit intimidated, and that's when you start, you know, comparing yourself to others, see, are you doing well? I definitely think I maybe suffered in silence because I thought everybody else was doing it on their own and they were doing well, but I wasn't really doing well at the beginning, and I thought something was just wrong with me, and maybe I didn't belong, you know, maybe I shouldn't be here. One of the things that people don't necessarily tell you when you're um, going to college is that at some point in your college career you're going to struggle um, whether it's like they have issues finding friends or they didn't anticipate like how hard their classes or their workload was going to be and I definitely don't think I would still be in like the Cocker School of Engineering if like it wasn't for EOE and if it wasn't for those people and those friends that I made. I think that's probably my favorite part of EOE, that community and that family. EOE primarily serves underrepresented minorities, whether that be uh, by race, if you are a veteran, LGBTQ, um, and specifically to recruit, retain, and graduate um, underrepresented minority students. So they do a bunch of outreach events, student orgs, tutoring, academic type stuff. They also have programs um, like TREX, where you can get involved in research and you can get paired up with a professor, and it's a unique way to make connections. They also have programs like Global leaders where you can go and visit a different country and get to know about engineering in different countries and study abroad. They also do a lot of um, leadership development stuff and they also do a bunch of like banquets and industry Super Bowl where they bring in recruiters and you compete with the recruiters on different like many challenges and things like that. I would say for students who are involved with AOE, it's like a home base. You, you have role models and people that succeeded and that have graduated and gone through the same struggles as you. Also, it's just like a big familia in general because people just want to support you in all aspects. The community is so welcoming that you can just be your authentic self and you can feel like you've known someone forever. EOE and the EOE student organizations were really what permitted me to build these friendships and, you know, have this network of people who have been making the tough decisions of what classes to take and what direction to go in, talking to them about how they made those decisions and how they were nervous, just like me how they struggled with classes just like me, but they are still where they are now, made me realize that I could, you know, I could use the advice that they were passing on to me and get to where they are and keep following in a lot of people's footsteps. Um, you know, I'm like one of three black students in my 200 person like, class of chemical engineering. EOE gave me a chance to connect with people that looked like me. EOE showed me everything that, you know, everyone's doing. They're showing me research, right? They're reviewing their resume, like they're making sure that they're setting me up for success. You know, EOE asks you, how are you doing? Like, what do you want to do with your life? Like EOE wants to make sure that, you know, you find the path that's good for you. It's not necessarily cookie cutter mold for every single student. It's just a more hope, like a home feel, like it's more catered to you as a person. I think because that's ultimately the heart of EOE. It's the friendships, the role models, the family and the culture and the, the people in EOE are always there to support you. And they work kind of effortlessly to make you feel at home, to remind you that no matter the outside pressures or where you come from or whatever, like you do belong here. Being part of EOE and seeing others who also have gravitated towards EOE, you learn a lot about other people's backgrounds. We are very multi Faceted. We don't just identify as one thing and we don't just belong to one category or group. And therefore, our journeys can be very connected because if you can find things in common with other people, we can come together and, and help everybody out.